Hello everyone, back with another video about the most important and most useful R commands. This one is kind of a follow-up to the last time when we discussed the ggplot. Of course, if you make some nice graphs, more often than not, you want to use them somewhere else, so you need them in the file format of your choosing. And to do this, there is a very simple and very neat solution called ggsave. So we follow up from the last time, so we have the same graph as before, and we want to save it to the hard disk, so we don't have to do anything else, just to write ggsave and the name of the file that we want to have our graph saved into. And it is simple like this. So in this case, I write penguins build free per length png, I run it, and it is already saved on my hard disk. And looks like this. If you look at the function arguments, also you will see the files or file extensions that ggsave is able to save graphs into. So, for example, if you want a PDF or you want to save the same thing in the PDF, you don't need to do anything else just to actually rewrite the file name to penguinsbillfripperlength.pdf run the whole thing, or actually run the GG save line again, and now you have it in PDF form. Technically, there is this device here, which is a separate function argument, but from my experience, if you just write the name, what you want, and uh, with the file extension .pdf, it's already working. Here, I want to underline that is saving always the last graph that you made in R. So, you know, so if you want to make like a bunch of graphs and you want to save all of them, after each one you write the ggsave command and then it saves all the graphs for you. Well, sometimes you might not be entirely happy with the format of the picture and it is very easy to change. So you just define the width and the height of the picture and the unit you want to have it in so you can have it in inches, centimeters, millimeters, or pixels. And well, basically you just specify this and then rerun the whole thing, or again, not the whole thing, but just the GG save line. And it creates a picture of the desired size. Also, I just want to note, I went back to the PNG here for this process. One more thing I like on this very much that you know, sometimes the journals or well, various publications want a picture of a certain resolution. So it should be a certain number of dots per inch, or in other words, a certain DPI. This is also very easy to arrange. So basically you just use the DPI function argument here, well, which is called DPI and you just specify what your DPI should be. And again, with this, by rerunning, you just get the work done. So I like very much this GG save. It's a very convenient thing to use, uh, really a game changer, at least for me, and a huge quality of life improvement when it comes to saving my graphs as pictures or PDFs on my hard disk. So definitely a warm recommendation from my side. So you also try it out and use it. For today, this was everything. I thank you for your time and have a really nice day.